Hello again, SCC viewers, sports producer David Schuyler joining you again with another update from one of our Fab Four schools. And joining me now is Activities Director Brian Pelliquin from White Bear Lake High School. Brian, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to chatting today. So how have things been going for you over the past few weeks? Uh, things have been going well, all things considered. Obviously, we've been dealing with unknowns and lots of changes, both from the governor and the state high school league, uh, as well as local district changes and, and updates on a regular basis. So just trying to stay ahead of all of those and make sure that I'm keeping an open communication with my coaches, you know, our participants, their families, the community, um, just trying to stay ahead of all the, all the changes and updates from day to day and week to week. And the latest development from Governor Walls came last week when unfortunately it was made official that schools wouldn't be meeting anymore for certain and they'd be doing distance learning the rest of the year. What was the reaction from White Bear when, when that was announced last week? I think it was belief that that was what was going to happen and, and belief that that was what was expected to, to come. It was just a matter of when. Um, I think we all felt like the inevitable was going to occur and he needed to just tear the band-aid off rather than slowly let us take this spring one day at a time always watching the update every day and, and wondering when it's going to happen. So it was nice to, nice to have that closure, I guess I could say, that, that conclusion and, and to be able to actually move on with, with knowing what the end is going to look like rather than every day wondering if this is going to be the day it, it, it changes. Have any plans been put in, been put in place for uh, any of the end of the year normal events and ceremonies that take place like graduation? Yeah, we've had we've had some things that we've made some definitive decisions on. Most of the things, much like our current situation, are fluid depending on kind of what happens over the course of the next few weeks. We do a pretty uh, robust scholarship and senior awards evening, and that has been canceled. And so that's an unfortunate evening and a, and a really cool event that we're not going to have happen at all. Uh, but our other two main events in the spring is prom and graduation. Both of those, uh, I'm overseeing a group that is working on different options and ideas for prom. Uh, Principal Don Bosch is working with graduation and just trying to get creative and still understand that our world is changing by the day. And so trying not to get too far ahead of ourselves regarding planning, because you never know when a, a specific plan just gets blown up because something new comes about and, and you have to change. So we're we're trying to be patient and trying to be creative, but not get too specific with planning. Um, our goal is still going to be to have both of those events in some capacity at some point. It's just a matter of where, when, how. And so continuing to work through those and get input from our stakeholders. On the athletic side of things, uh, with school being shut down, unfortunately spring athletes won't have a season at all. That's been canceled for the rest of the year. But the theme that I've at least seen going around on social media is that we are still a team. And even though we're not going to have games, practices, that we can still have that be unified as a team. Have you heard anything from White Bear Lake coaches or players or seen any videos going around that uh, exemplifies the, uh, staying committed to White Bear Lake sports? Yeah, you know, I, I guess even bigger than that, I was surprised right after the governor made the announcement about distance learning being extended to the end of the year that the state high school league essentially cut off the spring season that i expected what i didn't expect is for them to originally say that they didn't want our spring coaches to even talk or really interact with their athletes much like they would if they were out of season um thankfully they had an executive board meeting on friday the day after the announcement and they kind of went back on their word and said actually we do want our coaches still interacting still you know, leading their team, like you're saying, and, and still being a head coach for a spring sport, even though the season doesn't exist, there's still things to be learned. Um, our coaches are continuing to interact with their athletes, continuing to give optional practices, checking in on them, making sure everything's going all right with them, and then finding ways to honor our seniors. Uh, obviously, we are, we're, we're still being a part of the Be the Light MN every Monday night. Um, our kids have done a pretty good job of showing up, but practicing safe distance. Uh, social distancing, which has been good, and, and it gives them something to look forward to and to connect to on a regular basis, and so that's been exciting. We're also looking at ways that our office can honor those senior athletes who had their spring season taken away from them. 
Are there any sports or other activities for that matter, or loose ends that you're looking to tie up for the rest of the spring season? Or are you looking ahead to the fall and, um, and some of the stuff in the summer already? Um, for spring season, from a sports standpoint, it, that's, that's been pretty much tied up, obviously. Uh, prom is one thing. Graduation are, are kind of the two main activities that are still yet to be determined for the spring. At this point, it's just, again, continuing to try to plan for the summer, but not knowing what that looks like regarding football camps, soccer camps, basketball camps. Uh, we, we run a pretty large strength and conditioning program out of our weight room in the summer. And how is that going to look? You know, can, can we maintain, you know, sanitized equipment? The weight room, unfortunately, doesn't have the greatest ventilation. And just looking at what are the things that we can do this summer and how are we going to have to be creative in order to be able to try to maintain a sense of, of normalcy and yet still live in the conditions that we're living in. And so I, I would say all of our coaches and advisors are looking ahead to, to the summer and then the fall. And, and there's still lots of unknowns about what the fall could look like. We hear big picture that there's going to be a round two and how is that going to impact both school and sports in the fall when you look at many of our sports in the fall are not necessarily individual sports. You know, sports like even cross country running, and volleyball, you're, you're next to each other on a court, you're next to each other on a race, and, and all of our sports in the, in the fall, outside of possibly tennis and swimming, um, are very much interactive with teammates and opponents. And so as we continue to look at social distancing in the future, it's going to be tricky on how we're going to get creative and if we're going to be able to have those types of sports. Well, Brian, thank you very much for stopping by and giving us an update. I wish for nothing but the best for you and for White Bear Lake, and hopefully stuff is able to come together for the summer and fall seasons. Sounds good. Thanks for talking again. Good to see you. Likewise. Take care. You too.